Okay, good morning students. Now today we're going to look at the plant transport systems. I know you have already learned this. So this will serve as a revision, a recap of what you have learned. Okay, the plant transport system. One thing you have to think about the plant transport system is that a plant has two very special tubes. And what are the two special tubes? Okay, try to recall. Two special tubes are the... You got it? Water carrying tubes and the food carrying tubes. Now, so why do plants trans need a transport system? Now, plants need water for photosynthesis. Okay, they need mineral salts to stay healthy. So the water and mineral salts needs to go to all parts of the plants. And this can only be done with the water, water carrying tubes to transport water and mineral salt from the roots to all parts of the plant. So that is also the function of the water carrying tubes. Water carrying tubes transport water and mineral salt from the roots to all parts of the plants. Now plants also need food. And food uh, is... It, uh, um, leaves make food. Okay, so the food has to be transported from the leaves to all parts of the plant. That can be that can be done with the water, uh, food carrying tubes. So food carrying tubes, function of food carrying tube is to transport food from the leaves to all parts of the plants. Okay, and that is why plants need a transport systems. Now, if we were to look at the tree, okay, I want you to just think about the the flow of the direction of the water as well as the flow of the direction of the food. So the flow of direction of water first. Now roots absorb water, we know that. Roots absorb water and mineral salt. So the flow of the direction of the water is upwards. Right? This is the flow of the direction of water and mineral salt. Our plants also make food. Okay, plants make food uh, from the leaves and the flow of the direction of the food okay, is downwards. Okay, if you are required to draw the flow of direction of water and food, okay, this is the arrow uh, for water is pointing up, arrow for flow of direction of food is downwards. Okay, please remember that. I'm just going to write indicate here. This is water and this will be food. Alright, next. Now, the diagram you see here is the cross section of a stem. Okay, maybe I'll just write here. Cross section of a stem. If I were to cut a stem into half, okay, and using a microscope. Okay, this is what I'm going to see. Tiny tubes at the cross section of a plant. Okay, or a plant or a stem. Okay, so we need to identify the water carrying tubes and the food carrying tubes. Remember, the water carrying tubes is always found in the inner ring. Food carrying tubes, food carrying tubes are found on the outer rings. Okay, so if you look at outer rings, let's try to identify this. Okay, is this the water carrying tube? Now let's look, this is the outer ring. Okay, so if it's the outer ring, it cannot be the water carrying tube. Okay, so let's erase all this. The outer rings are the Okay, uh, outer rings, the tubes found on the outer rings are the food carrying tubes. Uh, so all this, all this, alright, all this, outer rings, these are the food carrying tubes. Inner rings, okay, all the inner rings, so if the outer rings are tubes found, the outer rings is the food carrying tube. The Tubes found in the inner rings will be the water tank, uh, the water water carrying tubes. Okay, let me just write down here, water carrying tubes. That should be very clear. All of you should know by now. Okay, so if you are required to identify, that should be shouldn't be any problems at all. Okay, so now let's quickly uh, recall the function of food carrying tubes. I mentioned earlier on in this video. 
So the function of food carrying tube is to transport, of course, food, right? From where? Okay, the leaves make food. So it's to transport food from leaves to all parts of the plants. Okay, I'm going to let you do this. Function of water carrying tubes. What do you think? Transport plank and plank from roots to all parts of the plants. Okay, quickly, I'll give you 5 seconds to think of the answer. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You got it? Okay, it is to transport water and Mineral salt. For those of this, those students who got it, well done, right? Transport water and mineral salts from roots to all parts of the plants. Now, if you can identify the fun or, or rather the you can identify the, the tubes, okay, you know the flow of the direction of the water and the food. And you know the function of food carrying tube as well as the function of water carrying tube. Basically, we have completed this unit. Okay, but I just want to want you to record this experiment. Do you remember that we did this experiment in school? Okay, so what happened to the salary? Okay, half of the salary salary turns blue. Okay, you can see from here, and half of the salary turns orange because the water is orange. Okay, so this shows the assistance of the water carrying tubes okay and if we were to put the celery into different pots with different colors you see that the celery in the red colored water turns red this the one blue colored water turns blue okay the leaves in the one that is in purple colored water turns purple because uh, plant transport system absorb the water and, and it is transported it shows that it's transported to all parts of the plants okay which is evident in the leaves of the celery stock okay with this we would have finished the entire unit okay the end goodbye